So when I started building a satellite constellation, like the sky was the limit, like what am I gonna do? I'm gonna save the water. So Fleet Space Technology is on a mission to build a constellation of very small satellites to solve the biggest problem on Earth. And the first one that we're tackling is looking for critical minerals, the minerals that kind of underpin the energy transition of humankind in the next 20 years. So I've heard you say your satellites are quite small. They're the size of a pizza box, right? Correct. Tell us what's different about your satellites versus a traditional satellite. My vision and my dream was the traditional satellites, we're talking about billion dollar big satellites, probably as big as a bus. So it's always been kind of the game of the big guys or government. Stage separation confirmed. It makes me feel lucky that this is the time where I'm alive and I'm contributing. You know, even if I'm not in Silicon Valley, even if I'm not the usual profile of a CEO, founder of a tech startup, I have contributed something big. I was very fascinated about the world had to go through this amazing energy transition. Solar panels, electric car, electrification of the grids. It's a big, big change for humankind and need a change for climate change. And then you look back and then you realize we need 40 times more lithium, four times more copper. And then it's kind of counterintuitive that to save the world, we need to drill it. So this is what I got passionate about. Yes, we are trying to find critical minerals so we can go to net zero faster. Like if you look at fleet crit critical minerals application, we find a solution so you, have, you can find critical minerals, but reducing 90% of your drilling. So you're not using old data, so you can do 3D maps of the underground without drilling. They actually send amazing you know, waves that EQ you can listen to for a few days and map up to many, many kilometers and say, okay, this is lithium, this is copper, this is rock. Do you ever think about looking at Mars? Other of planets? course. Do you do that? Of course we want to do that because and, you know, uh, Elon Musk and NASA are going to Mars and going to the moon. And interesting things about this new space race that we are not just going there to put a flag, we are going there to stay. So when you want to have people living on another planet, what do you need? You need food, water, energy, right? You need the basic. So this space race is less about rockets and more about how can we sustain our humankind on other planets.